frankly won't perhaps your game Is there a point to all these fancy clothes? With all this buckles from your head down to your toes Solon, and this is NLC Trans. Um, with me tonight, I have my dear friend and co-host, uh, Stacy Dozier. Um, Tara, who is usually with us, another dear friend and co-host, um, is not here uh, tonight. She, uh, she had to work. Actually, I'll, I'll have to sort of explain this. Um, we're not actually here, so um, you're watching us, but we're actually somewhere else. I'm probably at home cooking apple pie for tomorrow. Um, this is actually going to be a tape show. So, um, be because tonight the, the studio is closed um, in honor of the uh, Thanksgiving holiday. And so we're taping this show. Next week we'll be back live, but uh, this one is taped. So we're not actually here. Um, and Tara had to work, so she couldn't make it. Um, we're basically doing this on our lunch break. So, um, so we're not here. So if you call, um, which you probably shouldn't do. You can call next week. But, but you could. If you really wanted to call, you can call. But you'll probably get an answering machine because there won't be anybody here. Or there isn't anybody here. This, this, this is, this is going to be very, very confusing. But, um, but anyway, so um, I'd like to uh, wish everybody out there a happy Thanksgiving. And um, we're going to talk um, a bit tonight about Thanksgiving. And, and I, you know, I thought we would uh, talk a bit about those things that we're thankful for in honor of this holiday. That was kind of uh, our, our plan. And, and various other things. We're going to talk about my love life, too, tonight. But, um, well, we I never swear. got the chance to fully explore that in previous <laughs> episodes. And I was just thinking that we really needed to, to go back <laughs> and, and yes. cover that adequately. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Anyway, OK, so, so um, <laughs> as far as calling goes, um, you know, at any time, you know, obviously tonight included, but, um, but in general, if there's any guys out there, eligible, unmarried guys, that is, um, <laughs> that are maybe between like 45 and 55 and who would like to ask me out, they <laughs> certainly can call. Um, they could call tonight, too, if they want, but they'd have to leave a message. But that would be okay, too. So, um, so we'll <laughs> anyway. Um, we're we're going to change the name of our show to uh, Cowie's Find a Date for Cowie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll stop. No, I probably won't. But <laughs> <laughs> There's no precedent for it. <laughs> anyway, so this is a tape show. So, uh, so we're going um, to talk about some things. Um, and uh, maybe we'll talk about cars, too. <laughs> maybe. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna, Never know. We're just going to kind of wing this. But, <laughs> but anyway, happy Thanksgiving. And um, Thanksgiving is a wonderful time, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna. Um, Stacy and I both are going to be having uh, Thanksgiving dinner with uh, Father Russ and his yes. family. Our family. We've been adopted <laughs> by this family, which is really wonderful. It's and, awesome. Um, I love them all. And yeah, it's just it's great. So we're gonna have Thanksgiving at Father Russ's, um, which is gonna be great. And uh, anyway, um, I wanted to talk a little bit um, about some of the things I'm thankful for. And um, I'll try not to get too long-winded here. Um, first and foremost, um, I, you know, I'd like to say that I am truly 
thankful for my friends and family. My friend Stacy was sitting right here, and, and Tara, who couldn't be with us. Hi, Tara. Um, but um, but it's and all of my friends. I have a lot of very dear friends, um, and I, I am so thankful for my friends and family. And and um, Father Russ is a, is big on this list. Father Russ has been so good to me and to us, mm-hmm. and um, and I am truly truly thankful that um, that our paths crossed the way they did. Um, Father has been um, has been so instrumental in this whole thing, this, the whole group and our, our um, you know, our support group and our TV show and, and um, all of the things we're doing. And we're, we're sort of branching out and getting involved in a lot of things now. In fact, Tara, it looks like, is, um, is um, busy. <laughs> she is a, <laughs> she's a busy girl. Um, Tara got us, uh, got us booked on that, um, this was uh, a week, two weeks back, I think. Time gets very confusing when you're on TV, and I'll tell you. All right, so we were contacted by Jerry Marie about appearing on that panel. Is that the what panel, you're talking yes. about? And uh, apparently now there is um, uh, in the works um, another panel which will be at UConn, from, right. from what I'm hearing. So we may be doing a, a, a panel at UConn. So it sounds that, like uh, we will be. It's just a question of when. Yeah. So, so I look forward to it. This is cool. We're, we're going to explore the local colleges and... Um, and uh, hopefully um, spread the word a little bit and do some education, outreach. And, um, and personally, I am just very, very hopeful that if we can keep hanging around colleges, maybe I can meet a nice professor or something. You know? That would be good. That would be great, yeah. Um, in fact, you're going out with a, uh, a teacher. Um, yeah. this, I, I, I don't want to put you on the spot. You're going out um, this um, this. Week with right, a, I have uh, a date for Saturday, a lunch with, date for Saturday with um, with a uh, teacher, a uh, history teacher. If history I'm not teacher, yep. mistaken, a very nice man, and uh, that is so very cool. Yeah, and, uh, it's awesome. And uh, hopefully that will work out for you. And um, and if it doesn't, we can always do Callie and Stacy's uh, right. dating. <laughs> so, but but that is really great, and uh, and I wish you well on that. Thank you. Um, it's so hard to find men. I don't know it why. It is well, but. Well, it's a little more complicated for us because um, of the whole fatal flaw thing, right? Mm. I mean, we have yeah. to find someone who can accept us, even given our past, and in my case, the fact that I'm still living with a birth defect. Yeah, but that will go away eventually. Right. Um, and, um, and, and that's, uh, yeah, we've all been there. I, I've been there myself, and that's... Uh, that's that's a, it's a hard one because um, right. because there are a lot of men that are attracted to you because of that birth defect. Well, right. So that becomes what a, a, a fetish thing where it's yeah. really kind of a sexual thing, and that's not really where I'm going. Right. That's uncomfortable with the relationship, and it's not what I'm about. Right. And um, and so yeah, it becomes a matter of having to sort of weed those people out and. Um, not that you know it's a complicated thing and um and any guy that's willing to accept that birth defect is kind of a special guy right but uh, you just sort of don't really want the kind of guys that are looking for that birth defect because that birth defect is probably going to go away right um, and and some of them don't want it to go away right. and what they're inadvertently telling you is what I'm really interested in is the single thing that's caused you the most pain through your entire life, and then they're asking you to keep that, and that's yeah, that's, that's kind of hurtful. I mean, it's not intentional, but it's right. it's hurtful. It's tough. Um, and then, of course, if you happen to be with somebody that uh, that can sort of see past that, then there's a discomfort in the fact that you still have that. I I, I, w- 